Welcome to Swetset Technology Training Programs. Our training programs are designed to provide you an effective and hands-on training experience. This presentation will describe quality issues training. We will discuss black box testing and automation tools. So the training format is uh, driven by highly interactive instructor-led training program and it will be delivered to both classroom and online. We are located here in Fremont in Milpitas, California and uh, the students they will be coming in classroom as well as they will be coming online from different parts of the US. So the first topic we'll take is software development process. In its process we'll learn the art of software development. We will go through the we'll discuss the SDLC itself and we'll talk about agile and waterfall methodologies. Agile is a very popular methodology in the current software development life cycle and many of the companies, smaller and medium size and even bigger companies, they prefer to work in Agile mode. Second topic will be software architecture model. We are going to talk about client server architecture, three tier architecture and n tier architecture. It's very important for you to understand architecture of a product in order to test Depending on the architecture, you may be testing on one part or another, so it will be worth understanding how softwares are architected. The third topic we are going to do is we are going to introduce manual testing to you. We'll be telling you how you work in a team of development and how do you write test suites, test cases, how do you perform multiple testing types like a positive testing, negative testing, regression testing, load testing, stress testing all the topics they will be accompanied with exercises and assignments next topic will be manual testing continued here we are going to take an excel sheet we will show you how you can use it to create your test cases and test suites we will uh, tell you how you can write and execute your test cases we will introduce you to issues and bugs and how do you work with different life cycle so actually what will happen in the real world when you work in a project you definitely will be testing it and once you test you'll find that there are certain issues or certain bugs or problems with the product and we will teach you when you find them how to deal with them after that we are going to move to test reporting tools and we are going to talk about few and Jira and Bugzilla are the big ones we also talk about Mercury Quality Center now it's HP so Jira is a uh, you know, very uh, flexible issue management tool and so is Bugzilla. Bugzilla is an open source product which is available for free. Jira is not open source but the personal version is, is uh, I believe free. Next topic will be HP Mercury Quick Test Professional and we are going to introduce to QTP that's Quick Test Pro and we are going to compare with available open source products and tools and uh, this is a very um, you know, important topic for you to learn because once you want to automate your product for testing you have few options and QTP has been one of the leaders in that space so when we move to the next topic we are going to talk about the advanced topics of QTP like uh, how do you work with object repository or object spy different actions different properties how do you work with VB script and uh, how do you work with low level recording and things like recovery scenario topic number eight will be mercury load runner so if you need to test your product for uh, the performance and effectiveness you will have to load test it and even stress test it so load runner is a very um, important tool in this space and uh, we are going to learn it and we are going to spend two uh, sessions on a topic 8 and 9 and uh, we are going to learn uh, the basic as well as very advanced concepts using loadrunner advanced concepts such as correlation and autocorrelation manual correlation how do you do dynamic value how do you read from different uh, uh, data files we are going to cover that and how will you take that uh, result and how will you do some kind of di diagnosis we are going to cover in this topic number 10 will be database verification and validation we are going to take MySQL as a database and we are going to use MySQL workbench to access your MySQL server we will be talking about uh, 
structured query language SQL we will talk about data definition language DDL data manipulation language DML PL SQL and different types of statements like select update delete insert create alter drop statements after that we're going to move to selenium we're going to talk about selenium id and selenium rc selenium id basically is uh, an automation tool it's open source it works very well it comes with a firefox plugin and it gives you very good run for your uh, money it's free actually uh, it's very uh, advanced it can do a lot of good things for you we will be talking about selenium commands what is xpath selenium selenium core and rc in the tools and frameworks you'll learn in this course you'll learn in many things you'll learn sdlc you will learn agile you will learn waterfall you will learn software architecture you will learn jira you will learn bugzilla quality center quick test pro load runner selenium id selenium rc or web driver mysql server mysql workbench and continuous integration so it's a very well uh, thought through uh, training program and you're going to learn many topics in this course so if you want to follow us, you can follow us on Twitter. We are on twitter.com slash sansatechnology. Our website is sansatechnology.com. You can send an email to contact us on sansacorp.com and you can get more information. Or you can visit us at our office in Milpitas, California. Or you can call on these numbers. Some useful URLs for your reference. You know, our home is sansatechnology.com. Twitter is sansatechnology. LinkedIn is sans company sansa-technology. Blogs are sansatechnology.wordpress.com. YouTube is youtube.com slash technology so thank you so much for viewing this video I hope you'll find this very useful thank you